Alright, what's up everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's last scout report. I'm here to give you a report on cornerback Ifo Ikre Alamnu coming out of Oregon. Sorry it's been taking so long for me to come up with this blog and I know you guys have been very, this has been long waiting for me to give you guys a blog on this particular player and he was my top um, my top cornerback entering this year's draft before the season began. Let's talk a little bit about him. He's actually from Chino Hills, California, a five-star recruit coming out of high school and he started in all four seasons during his stay at Oregon. Definitely as a true freshman with eight pass breakups and four uh, and 34 tackles as a true freshman. But his breakout year was in his sophomore season where he registered four interceptions and 20 pass breakups. Definitely is a great player to, for you guys to watch. He had a great career as an Oregon Duck and for the past three seasons he was first team all Pac-12 honors and he even garnered a couple All-American um, um, mentions. It, for the past two seasons. Now let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths. Now he definitely has excellent cover skills. Now during his career, he had 43 pass breakups to go along with nine interceptions. Those are impressive numbers. And definitely he shows that he is a great cover corner as well, swatting the football away. And he has just enough ball skills to, cut, to pick up a couple of interceptions. He had an outstanding career as an Oregon Duck. Also, the thing I like about him is not he's not like a Deion Sanders, a cover corner who doesn't want to tackle. This is an actual guy who would actually throw his body around to even tackle. He actually registered um well over 150 tackles during his stay at Oregon. Definitely a great player. He's definitely a good team player to even step up to, uh, to help the ground uh, um, defense as well. Those are great things about him. Another thing I do like about him is that he has good overall speed and athleticism with good fluid hips. Definitely has a good um, easy way of changing directions from sideline to sideline, from left to right to get to, the, um, get to the football. Definitely a great athlete overall. Now he does have a couple weaknesses though and the one weakness that I definitely have noticed and has been exposed in the Arizona game at Eugene is his size and, and his weight. He's five foot nine, 185 pounds, and he was mauled by younger on um, wide receivers from the Arizona on um, Wildcats. In that matchup, he was pretty much just just embarrassing that game, where, where the bigger receivers was actually catching footballs over him and even trucking him, mauling him, and, and, and um, blocking. He actually had a hard time shedding off blocks. That is a major concern, and that's why his stock drop has stock has dropped so much. Not, but he also is coming from a knee injury. He's still rehabbing his knee. He torn his he torn his ACL during the season, but still in that matchup against Arizona, that was the game that scared me, and that was the game that really caught my attention, where I had to say, hmm. I need to reevaluate this player and notice him because of his size. A lot of the taller, bigger receivers in the National Football League is just going to take full advantage of him. Just like how those younger players in or from Arizona did in that matchup in which Arizona did pull off the upset over Oregon in that game. That is just a, that, that's just the, the obvious, the biggest one. Now, he is recovering from a knee injury. That is another reason why his stock dropped. But because of his size, and in that Arizona game, I, I, I'm really concerned about that. I actually had to have him drop him from my number one cornerback to my number seven cornerback because of that matchup. And he kind of reminds me of the situation with Tony Mandridge when he was picked second overall back in the late 80s. Now, this was a great prospect coming out of Michigan State. But then when you reevaluated the tape, you noticed that he didn't have any feet, which is a concern that you want your left and you want your tackle to have. Now, because of that size, I'm kind of comparing the two. Because of that size, I just noticed it. I definitely had to drop his, his status, and I actually have him as a late fourth rounder or a fifth round pick of this year's draft because of that situation. Seriously, even though he is still a great cover corner, he could get to the football, I'm still concerned, but I still think he has potential to be a star, but I'm just concerned because of that. He's not, he, if he was like six foot one, he would still be my number one guy no matter what, even with the knee injury. But because of that size and in that matchup against Arizona, and I had even noticed it in other games, he's going to struggle against Against bigger, taller receivers. So I had to project them in the fourth round or at worst, the early fifth round of this year's draft. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys with more scout reports will be on Thursday. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching today's blogs. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.